the most original entry, the tasty-looking Psycho Sprout. Meet Psycho Sprout. Inside Psycho Sprout is a proprietary chassis with some of the components upgraded. The idea is that as this runs inside the chassis, the truck actually climbs up the inside of the wall. And as the centre of gravity is far over to one side, the whole sprite actually rolls along. Away the stone. Here it comes. It's out. The steer controlled by a team that calls itself the Boy Sprouts. Now, a rolling stone gathers no moss. A rolling sprout gathers a sergeant bash. Impaled, and I wonder how on earth it's going to get... The ability of Lily is to articulate in all directions. Motors away from the ran rig with their shunt. Ooh, here today, gone tomorrow. The axe slices in, one in the eye for Millie Amber. Got to get out from those side walls, away from shunt. Crosses the course for their Sergeant Bash. The fringe singes. Again, Sergeant Bash looking to singe the fringe once more. This is the Bearmoth pushing and pushing! <laughs> Laughter for Millianne. Hypnotis. Brutally powerful and brilliant. Built for exacting destruction. The Rose family's robots set the arena buzzing. Destructive, powerful. The design came from Dave Rose's three year old son. In semi two, after a titanic struggle, Hypnodisc gave the old 1 2 to 101. And left Evil Weevil battered, torn, flayed, frayed, and slain. The winner, the brilliantly original Gemini, has that set a trend for the future? The Gemini team, a first for British Robot Wars. Here we have, long awaited, I might add, a cluster bot. Talk me through it. Well, cluster bot, it's um, two separate parts which go into the arena as one machine. And then when we start to fight, we separate. Like so. Watch for the split. There straight away. The twins break up. Sisters of mercy or daughters of doom, Gemini. Part of the twins there, Gemini. It'll lunge! And a great attack as well from the pneumatically powered flipper. Can flip up to 250 kilograms and surely here Catechilla's done for. The winner. S3, well done. Activate the left Thunderbird against S3. Looks like the head of a hammerhead shark, S3, and it has the teeth to match as well, but driven onto the arena sidewall by Thunderbird. Don't forget, if you're driven into the CPZ, the corner patrol zone areas, it means the house robots can come out and literally have a go at you. Thunderbird. Original entry, we looked at Crustacean. The judge is delighted with the virtual reality weaponry. When those gloves are clenched, so are the crab like claws. The most original entry, Ian and Dominic Visser's Crustacean. Intriguing technique for Crustacean. Dominic Visser you might get a shot of him in a couple of seconds. Time is at the controls. There, when he closes those gloves, so the pincers on Crustacean close. Like a crab's claws. Mr. Nasty seems to have got problems. Crustacean also, as Dan Tom here comes in underneath that ground clearance of four centimetres. It is an Achilles heel for Crustacean.